Hey guys, here are six no comply tricks that you can learn after learning the no comply 180. These tricks are going to be ranging from easiest to hardest. Number one, the no comply nose grab, shove it. Even though this trick is the easiest trick on the list, it's definitely the better looking trick in my opinion. Obviously you don't have to learn this trick by doing a shove it straight away, but just for extra brownie points and to show you the creativity of this trick, I decided to do the shove it. You can do a kickflip variation, you can do all sorts of variations with your hand. To do this trick, you're obviously popping a regular no comply, but you want to also pre-aim your hand ready to catch the board. Once you catch it, you just do a shove it, let go of the board at about the halfway mark, and then just jump up and land on the board. Even though this trick is the easiest, in my opinion, you can make it the hardest by doing big spin variation, tray flip, finger flip, you name it. You can make this trick really hard if you want. And number two is the no comply pole jam. Even if you're a complete beginner at pole jams, the no comply variation is definitely the easiest. This no comply variation is a little bit different because you don't actually want to pop your board. Your back foot is simply there to guide the board to make sure it doesn't land primo. So don't have your back foot on the tail. Number three is the no comply pressure flip. The no comply pressure flip is really easy to do, even if you know nothing about pressure flips. In fact, the no comply pressure flip might be a good way to learn how to actually pressure flip to begin with. To do this trick, it's all in the back foot, so you just want to have your back foot set up exactly how I have it. I have my back foot set up sort of vertically and it's right in that pocket. The back foot's half on half off the board and as you pop down you push onto your wheel really hard. You have lots of pressure on your toes and you're pushing and scraping diagonally forward. And then when you step off with your no comply you just want to scrape along the ground with your back foot for just a few milliseconds and that's going to get your pressure flip. You can practice this stationary if you like. I have a good trick tip on how to do pressure flips if you want to check that out because the no comply pressure flip feels sort of similar to a normal pressure flip. Check that out, I'll link it as a card right now. Number four is the no comply impossible. The no comply impossible is in my opinion harder than the pressure flip and however though the, the foot positioning and just the overall feel of this trick is very very similar to how you do a no comply pressure flip except your back foot just wraps around. It's the exact same setup, the exact same feeling, putting all your weight onto your toes and you're pushing diagonally forward. The only difference is you keep your foot close to the board. Number five is the flamingo. I didn't say these were no comply variations, I said there were tricks you can learn after the no comply. And the flamingo uses the same concept that you use for no complies. I recently learned this trick, so here's my very brief explanation. This trick really comes down to your foot positioning. You gotta have your back foot mostly off the board. So you gotta have the balls of your feet and all your toes hanging off the edge. And you gotta keep your back foot flat as well. And having most of your foot off the edge is just gonna give you, I don't know, the room required to scrape it into your back thigh. I found the quicker that I pop this trick, the easier it is to turn backside on the bank. Otherwise my foot just gets in the way of the skateboard and hits it. So the quicker you can pop and scrape this trick around, the easier it's gonna be. Also the higher you can pop it into your thigh, just the more comfortable it feels. I plan on making a standalone tutorial for this trick where I'll go more in depth. If you want to check that out, I'll link it as a card now. But I haven't made that trick tip yet, so if it's not there, it means I haven't made the video yet. And trick number six, this is where we get really wacky. Trick number six is the ice plant rock to fakie. So we're going to the transition now. An ice plant is just a no comply nose grab and you do your no comply on top of the coping. So it's more common to do a ice plant to fakie, but that's really scary. So I figure to make this trick easier for you guys, you can just try a ice plant rock to fakie. For this trick, you really have to come at it with a bit of speed because you need enough speed to get above the coping so you can actually get your foot on top of it. And as you get close to the coping and you start to take your foot off, push it forward. Instead of popping down like you would for a normal no comply, you're pushing it forward and that's gonna get the board into your hand much easier. So that's really important to push it forward with your back foot. And then you can just take this trick as slow as you want. And as you get more comfortable, just add more speed and get into that rock to fakie with more 
more confidence each time and yeah just make sure you know how to rock to fakie before you try this trick and this shouldn't be too hard and if you're not sure how to do rock to fakies you can check out my youtube tutorial on rock to fakies right here thank you for watching see you next time peace out